So we've heard about the very sad and unfortunate news about the tourists that went to Laos, which is a country in southeastern Asia, and were based in the tourist town of Van Vinh, and unfortunately, they died due to methanol poisoning. The speculation is that they drank alcohol, which would have been laced with methanol. Now that brings us to what is methanol? Methanol is a colorless liquid that looks and tastes similar to alcohol. It is used in cellulite manufacture, antifreeze products, dyes, inks, paint remover, and even cement. It is a hazardous substance and risks of exposure will include inhalation, ingestion, as well as absorption through the skin. But characteristically, it tends to occur mostly by ingestion. And what happens is when it's absorbed through the gut and into the bloodstream, it is now metabolized in the liver into formaldehyde and formic acid. And that's what causes much of the toxicity of methanol. It can take as much as up to 12 hours to see symptoms or even 24 hours in some cases. And symptoms to expect will depend on the amount of dose. Methanol can be very lethal at even very small doses as much as 10 mil. I mean, you can expect to see symptoms like nausea, vomiting, dizziness, abdominal pain, impaired coordination loss of consciousness, and if you're not treated properly, this can lead to coma and even death. Whereas if you take in any dose of more than 15 mil, you might go straight to coma and even death. One of the characteristic symptoms of methanol poisoning is damage to the optic nerve that can lead to blindness. You might get initial symptoms like blurring of vision, which then progresses to blindness, and this can be a long-term outcome. In terms of treatment, you want to take the person straight to hospital to make sure they're stabilized and involves the use of an antidote called fomiprazole. However, if fomiprazole is not widely available, then ethanol is used. And what ethanol does is to compete with the same binding sites as methanol to displace methanol from the receptors. If you have end organ damage, then this might involve use of hemodialysis, which involves filtering of the toxic waste from the kidneys. And other treatments to consider include IV, sodium bicarbonate, folate and thiamine, similar to what you would do for alcohol poisoning. Now, this is quite an unfortunate story involving the tourist. From the latest update, six tourists have died so far. These were American, British and Danish tourists. So you have to be very careful where you go. Do not buy from cheap spots or from cheap bars. Buy from bars with good reputation. Hang out with your friends, do not be isolated from your friends by any means. And actually, I would go as far as to say just avoid alcohol, avoid drinking, and just take your own drinks with you.